Once upon a time, there was a world that was dying. Its beautiful blue waters had turned orange with the rust of crumpled metal, and its soils were seeping into the sea. Its strange cities made of plastic dissolved into their blood. All that was once bright and green had turned to brown. The tides were turning faster and faster and faster every year. The famine was coming. The locusts were gathering. But they could not see it. They would not see it. They were looking for the bigger cars, the shiny new thing, for the way to fly faster through days of perpetual motion. They were busy working harder. They were busy buying better. Where we're going 
sweet, nobody knows. Where we're going, everything grows. The birds know, the trees glow, the rivers flow. Where Child, I will always be. Oh, my 
Once upon a time, the whales could hear from one side of the world to the other. Across the silent ocean deeps, they heard the songs of kin in distant lands. What did they hear? Listen. Shh. Slow down. Slow and down. Sink below the surface to the vast blue ocean of infinity. Slow to the speed of the orbiting heart. To the pace of planets lacing round an effulgent sun. Hear the whirring song of atoms in shining fields of electrons. The lullaby of stars falling. Seeds of light. Galaxies dancing on the tides of space, spiraling to the center of the still, small voice. The whispers of eternity. Listen inside to the sound of God singing the worlds into being. To glacial thoughts clear and translucent to a light that is everywhere.
All around her danced the electricity of God, shooting into roots and branches, scintillating in the sinewy limbs of trees, sparking light in flesh. The one life, shining through the veils of a trillion forms, one throbbing presence suffusing all of life. Radiant energy now streamed into her, from above and below. The one blood of life, translucent prana, circulated in every vein of leaf and petal, in the inward flow of sap in roots and branches, in the veins of her body. Her bare feet touched the earth with a grateful intimacy and the earth in turn responded lovingly to her footsteps. In curling currents of velvet breeze, the breath of life was breathing her. Each inhalation, a heliotropic longing for the sun. Each exhalation, a surrender to the sweetness of the dark soil. All of nature flowing in synteny, earth and sky, matter and spirits entwining, all arising and dissolving in eternal dance, one eternal life flowing.
created from above and below, within and without, she followed secret frequencies that led her upward into the misty mountains. Storms of ice and snow swirled around her, and she felt the vast aloneness of her life. Her communion with all of life was a lightness that lifted her spirits, and yet it was also a heaviness in her heart, for as sensitively as she could feel the joy of creation, so too could she feel its suffering. As she climbed higher and higher, her thoughts turned to the infinite, and its mysteries pulsed to her from strands of starlight lacing through the electric field of the cobalt sky. At last, she reached the summit of the misty mountain. She stood at its apex, her thoughts becoming as still as the ancient ice that surrounded her. In this glacial silence, she could feel the presence of the Great Ones. Before her stood the shining devas of the crystalline realms, wisdom keepers of all worlds. They carry the light that came before the sun and that remains when the spinning of time and space has ended. In the totality, there is wholeness, sorrow and solace, grief and ecstasy, hurt and healing. All are part of the one life flowing Child of time, you have come far. I am lost. She is grieving, connected to all, feeling all. Child of eternity, remember the light that came before the sun. Send your tap root to this source. You did not come from the stars. The stars came from you. You were there, remember. Remember the reason you are here. But what can I do? The world I come from is dissolving. Earth and sea are in rebellion. Life itself is threatened. Civilization rise and fall. New worlds are born. They grow and flourish. Time passes. They decay and disintegrate. Cycles of time ever turning. Summer's joy withers into autumn. Winter seeps into its roots, reborn in spring. The tapestry of time is woven by threads of light and dark. Then it doesn't matter what I do? What difference does it make? Is it any good even to try? In all worlds, through all of time and space, in all ages, epochs, and eons, there is always a choice. What pattern will you weave? A tapestry of joy, connection and community in the midst of every challenge. Dark threads giving depth, as shadows give substance to light? Or will you choose the dark designs of fear and sorrow, burning threads of guilt and shame, fragile filaments of light lost in despair? What will you choose? Hope or despair? Love or fear? When worlds are crumbling, love's roots grow deeper. 
In the times of rebirth, love scatters like seeds. Stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. Here. Now. A center that is everywhere. Circumference nowhere. Follow the light inside of you. See it shining in all of creation. You are not alone. She could now see clearly. Around her gathered the many travelers who had found their way to the realms of higher vision. Each on their own journey, following the wisdom that flowed from within. They came streaming into the universal hall. Now they gathered around the tree of life. Ancient ones and future beings, tribes, terrestrial and celestial, now joined together, their interconnection forming a new pattern that spanned the arc of eternity. Honoring sorrow, celebrating light, singing in harmony with all of life. Together, they planted the shining seeds of a new civilization. This is the sound of one voice. One spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of voices too. The sound of me singing with you, helping each other to make it through. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices three. Singing together in harmony, surrendering to the mystery. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of all of us. Singing with love and the will to trust Leave the rest behind, it'll turn to dust This is the sound of all of us This is the sound of all of us This is the sound of one voice one people, one voice, long for every one of us. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. Sing with us. This is the sound of one voice. One people, one voice, the sound for every one of us. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of. 